no matter what, sooner or later, you will get caught being yourself. So it's better to come forward and just start to be yourself and live into that truth and almost out yourself by being yourself so that you can start living authentically in every single place and not holding back and then allow all of those right people to come into your life. everyone. Welcome back to the show. It's time for another quickie because there's always time to fit in inspiration. And if you guys did not know, I am sending you a daily manifesting text or journal prompt. You guys, these are just different quotes or things that I'm thinking about or talking with to my friends that are totally changing my life in the way that I think. And I want to be able to share them with you. So if you want to be On that totally free daily text list, Monday through Friday, you guys, I send you a text that I have sat and written myself and really thought about. Or like I said, these are things that are coming up in conversation in business talks with my friends or with business partners. I want to loop you in on what these things are that are really expanding me. So if you want in for free, Monday through Friday, I'm telling you, it's just straight up manifesting, helping you get your head straight, really get your confidence back and really go for the thing that you want to go for. All you have to do is text the word daily to 310-496-8363. It's been so much fun talking with you guys. I try to text at least 10 to 20 people back a day who text about the text. So today I want to chat with you about authenticity and really trying to show up every day as being your real self or what you know to be your real self. In my personal opinion, I still don't know who my full real self is. I'm discovering her every single day through trial and error. I am discovering who the woman is that I am here to be through contradicting myself, through thinking that I want to do one thing or like one thing or think one way and the world showing me something completely different or someone else's experience impacting mine. And being your authentic self is really the thing that we should all focus on being after because I believe that that is where our relationships fall into place where monetarily we will start to understand how to get paid for doing the thing that we're here to do and essentially for being us. And it is not an easy task. And I can tell you that there was a time when I looked around at my friend group and I was like, man, I just feel like I'm having so much trouble connecting with the people that I want to connect with. And when I actually looked at who I was being within those circles. I was trying to be someone else. I wasn't even sure who I was, but I certainly was sure that it didn't feel safe to be me. And this led me on a journey of not only, you know, it wasn't necessarily these people's fault. It was number one, I I didn't feel willing or safe enough to be myself. And it led me on a journey to go and try to find those people who were interested and also sharing who they were fully and in authentic, safe spaces. And these were the places that I started to seek out, whether it was retreats or other business masterminds, or when I found someone who I thought was like-minded on the same journey, literally reaching out and emailing or DMing them like, hey, I'd love to get together. I'd love to, you know, see if there's anything that I can help with. Maybe our journeys will sync up at one point. Maybe there's different things that we have in common that we could help each other grow or with each other's goals. And this is really the places where I got to start practicing being my real self. And slowly, I think how it typically happens is you start to be able to be your your authentic self within these friend groups, sometimes within family, sometimes within family, we can't be our authentic selves, right? But then from there, what happens is typically when you branch out in business, you might be in a place right now where maybe on your social media or maybe online, you're like, man, I just feel like I'm not... Like I'm not really getting the people that I want. Maybe it's the amount of people or maybe it's the right client. And this is something that I am working on right now is trying to learn how to take the person that I truly am, which I feel like on podcasting is a much more authentic version of me. I feel like long form Lori gets a little more context and I'm able to like share more and be more myself and talk with other people who also brings out your personality. But for me, I've struggled in social media to show my 
real authentic personality and who I am and, and like what my actual thoughts are and beliefs are because it's such a short snippet of life. And I think so many of us are like, oh, I need to be so inspirational and upbeat and I should please everyone. And what I'm really learning is as the more that I want to be myself and the more that I really start to talk like me or have the true opinions of what has truly made my life successful, I've noticed that it's not popular with everyone. And that's not a bad thing. It's actually a really good thing. So what happens is the more authentic and clear that we get with who we are, the more other people who have been around for the person who has not been clear, right? The past me who's maybe not as clearly me, who's maybe more like broadly pleasing people throughout different maybe things I'm posting or thinking, that is going to shake out people who maybe don't like the thoughts or ideas or read all of the context around the things that are being said. And from there, what ends up happening though, is you end up speaking so much more clearly and directly to the people that you want. And then things start to shift then the right people come, then more people come because you are so clearly putting a stake in the ground of who you are and who you're for and who you're not. And this is not an easy task and it's not a quick thing either. And it's actually not super fun because when you start to do it, the initial thing is you don't, the great people don't all come, right? And they don't come flocking. But what happens is you get that initial shakeout of like, ah, I don't like this. I don't like who you're being. This isn't you. You've changed all the things in your life when you really become who you are. It's the initial backlash. You don't get the good stuff first. You get the backlash. So with that said, hang in there. Like if you're truly starting out on this path or maybe you're starting it in your friend groups, maybe you're starting to do this with your family and really share who you are and you haven't been able to be that person. Or maybe you are in that more advanced position where you're like, wow, now I want my social to match this. I want my business to match who I am because I have all of these other areas of my life cleared up. And I will tell you that no matter what, sooner or later, you will get caught being yourself. So it's better to come forward and just start to be yourself and live into that truth and almost out yourself by being yourself so that you can start living authentically in every single place and not holding back and allowing all of the people that weren't for you to kind of shake out, even though it's not fun, it ain't fun guys. And then allow all of those right people to come into your life. So where's an area right now in your life where you potentially could start to slowly reveal who you actually are and how you actually feel and maybe show up in those friend groups and start to speak your truth or find those ones who you believe could potentially be a safe space. I'm not saying it all turns out roses. It typically doesn't before, before the good stuff comes, you typically get some tough stuff in there. But I will tell you that living a half version of yourself and trying to please people is not actually life once you start to realize what it feels like to unleash the actual you and feel free to be those people in so many spaces that you're going to begin to slowly create for yourself. So I'm sending you so much love. You guys, I'm always, always so grateful for you. And you guys have sent in some epic reviews that I can't even tell you how amazing it is to read some of these and shout you guys out. And I would love, love, love to be able to read your five-star reviews. That would be absolutely amazing. I want to say your name. I want to say your handle. I want to say what you're up to. So if you guys would, it would be awesome if you would go over and rate and review the podcast. That's how it gets out in the world. If you guys know anything about podcasts, I'm telling you, it's like one of the biggest things that you can do for podcast hosts that you love. So whether it's me or somebody else, go give them a little bit of love on there for just showing up consistently and giving you all their time. Like anyone, just any podcaster you listen to, just be like, I'm going to give you a little bit of love. All right, you guys, until next time, earn your happy. Bye-bye. Hey, 
Hey y'all, I'm so excited to share with you, Earn Your Happy is now part of Growth Day Podcast Network. A bunch of us are coming together to bring more growth to the world and support shows and brands that we truly believe in. And one of my friends is also on the network and I'd love for you to go subscribe to his show. You guys, Trent Shelton has the most incredible podcast. It's called Straight Up with Trent Shelton. And it's going to remind you that you are built for this. I have heard Trent speak in person multiple times. I've listened to his podcast a ton. He's coming on the show and I literally cannot wait because this man just spits straight fire. It is like truth that goes to your core and makes you take action right away. If you want one of those podcasts that when you're just out on a walk, you can't help but want to start running and run through a wall in your life, this is the show to go listen to. So you guys make sure that you go subscribe to the show straight up with Trent Shelton. You're going to love it. Hey, do you know what the big secret is this year? And it shouldn't be a secret because this should be your biggest focus. It is building your community. I am always working on building and nurturing my community and everyone is talking about the power of community. Without an online community, you just cannot grow organically or create a real movement, which is what I know that we're all after. And you can build trust or monetize your audience. When you get community right, Not only does your audience grow faster, but so do your sales. But where's everybody gonna be managing their communities these days? And a lot of online entrepreneurs and thought leaders are turning to circle.so. Circle is an all-in-one community platform. It lets you host content and create discussions, live streams, group chats, and memberships all under your own brand. And what's so cool about Circle.so is that you don't even need a website or Facebook group. Instead, Circle lets you build your own community site where you can host content and manage your members. You can even create locked and unlocked content spaces, groups, and classes. How freaking cool is that? You can put your content behind a paywall too, and you can charge different amounts of money for different spaces on your community site. Circle.so is famously easy to use, and it has a free 14-day trial for you, so you can go check it out, see if you like it, see if you love all the options. Just go to circle.so. Go check it out right now, you guys. Imagine being able to manage your community, start group chats and live classes, and accept payments all in one place. Kind of mind-blowing since this is usually spread all over the place. You have to log into so many different things. If this is the year to capture, organize, and monetize your community, head over to circle.so. You can get a free trial and start building your online community right now. Just go to circle.so. You guys, you get the 14-day free trial. So just go and see if it's for you. It's going to streamline everything and make your life so much easier. It's so freaking cool. Hey, thanks for listening to the podcast. And I want to make sure that you have my phone number and I'm not kidding. Did you know that I have a community text number for real? My phone number is 310-496-8363. This goes directly to my phone. All you have to do is text the word daily to 310-496-8363. And I literally text you every single day, Monday through Friday, I actually just got done 30 seconds ago texting a bunch of people back and I talk to you all of the time. You guys, people always ask me how I got my community text number and how it works. Well, all you have to do is you can just go to community.com and get your own. Community makes it easy to get a phone number that you can use to build your audience using text. People just text you at your number and they're added to your group then you can text them out audios, video links, anything you want. You guys, I text out happy birthday videos. I love to send podcast links, thoughts about life, book recommendations, uh, different events that I'm doing in the local area. Texting gets me out of the noise of social media and directly into your hand. And now you can start texting your people too. Just go to community.com to get your phone number. They give you a 10 digit real phone number, not those weird short codes that look like spam, but it's more than a phone 
phone number. Your new number comes with an inbox for SMS and texting. This means you can actually manage your text list from your computer and an app on your phone. You can schedule texts to send at certain times and to certain groups. You can even set up auto replies or let your assistant or customer service team answer your text messages via community's awesome dashboard. Just go to community.com and ask for a free demo. They'll show you how it works and get you your number. It's time to start texting your audience versus just posting on social media. Everyone uses community for that. So go check them out at community.com. I can tell you it's not just great for communicating with my audience, but Chris and I use community and our texts to also sell out our launches. I'm telling you, you get such an incredible response because you really are creating a true deep sense of community and it's so intimate. It's freaking amazing. Go check it out at community.com.